Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can crop a bitmap image in Illustrator. Before we begin this tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. I'm in Illustrator here and I have two versions of the same image. This is the image we're going to begin with and it is a rectangular image. And I'm going to show you how you can crop this image inside Illustrator. And if you have a look over here at the Layers panel, you'll see that there's no clipping mask here. This is not just a clipped version of the image, it's actually cropped. So all the excess bitmap image here has been removed from this particular version of the image. And you're going to learn how to do that. It's not intuitive how that happens. It's not difficult either. As soon as you know the process, you'll be able to do it within a few seconds each time you need to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. To start this process, I'm going to choose File New and I'm going to set up the document I want to create, which is a thousand points by a thousand points, a nice little square document. And I'm just going to size down my window here and Control Zero to square everything up. Now I'm going to go and get the bitmap image. So I'm going to choose File and then Open. And I'm just going to open a JPEG image inside Illustrator. Now this image is absolutely huge, but that's okay. I'm going to go to its layer here, the image layer, and select that. I'm going to choose Edit Copy. And then I'm just going to close down the JPEG image. Back in my Illustrator image, I'm going to choose Edit Paste. Now again, it's way too big, but I'm going to just resize it. And I do that with the image layer still selected. I'm going to choose Object, Transform, Scale. And I'm using this option because it allows me to visually see my image and to scale it to exactly the size I want. I've got Preview turned on. I'm just going to decrease my unit form value here until my image is the size that I want it to be. Now, I'm looking at cropping my image to this artboard size, so I'm looking at a fairly good size for this little girl's face. And I think about this is pretty good, so I'm going to click OK. And that sizes my image. And now I can place it in position by just dragging on it. Now to crop it, I'm going to create a rectangle that's the size of the artboard. And I could do that using the Rectangle tool, but I have a script that does this automatically, which I find very useful. If you're interested in scripting in Illustrator, have a look at my video tutorial on Illustrator Scripts. It shows you how to find, install, and use prepackaged scripts in Illustrator. And all of these are just prepackaged scripts going to create a rectangle the artboard size, and that's it here. I'm going to click on this rectangle, and let's just color it so that you can see that it is actually a rectangle, and it is the artboard size, and it is the shape and size that I want to crop my image to. So I'm going to select my rectangle, and I'm going to select my image. So I've got both these paths selected, and I'm going to create a clipping mask. And we do that by making sure that the shape we want to clip to is on top, and whatever it is that we want to clip is on the bottom. And we do it with Object, Clipping Mask, Make, or you could press Control or Command 7. And that clips the bitmap image to the shape that we had, but it hasn't actually altered the image. The image is still here, and it's still full size. If we now want to get rid of the excess image so that all we have in this file is this piece of the JPEG, we need to go a step or two further. I'm going to first select my clipping group here, make sure I have that selected, and then I'm going to choose either the Appearance or the Transparency panel. I can do it either way. I use Appearance a lot, so I'm just going to click on Appearance. And this is the Appearance panel for this group, which is the rectangle and the JPEG image. And I'm going to go to Opacity here, and I'm going to select something that is not normal. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it's not normal. So I'm just going to click Multiply, and I'm going to click Away. And that has then changed the blend mode here. And we're going to use that change to be able to crop this bitmap image. And to do that, again, with everything selected, we're going to choose Object and then Flatten Transparency. I'm going to make sure here that I have Preserve Alpha Transparency 
checked on because that's really important. That's exactly what's going to make this work. And then I'm just going to click OK. And that crops the image. To finish off, we're just going to open up all these paths here in the Layers panel. I'm just going to make things a little bit bigger so that you can see really clearly what's going on here. So this is the image itself. It's the cropped image. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it all the way up at the top here. And I'm going to take this group and just discard it because I don't need anything else. And when we look at this image, it's now just an element inside the Illustrator file and all the excess image data has been removed. So it's been cropped in Illustrator. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.